what was it what was it like committing to Syracuse what was the decision for you and and why was Syracuse the place to go um I've I talked to a few different schools and um you know I just I just Gary Gay he's, he's the man you know um I I went into his office the first thing he showed me I walk into his office he he opened behind his desk he opens up this big jewelry case just all full of rings like you know, he, he played in the, the same league that I'm playing in the OLA. He has four championships in that league. Like mm. I was just like, this, this guy knows how to win. Like he is a winner. And, you know, just talk, just talking with the coaching staff and, you know, I just felt like they, they were invested in me and um, it, they made, they made like, I'm, I was a new guy on campus. Like I wasn't committed yet. And they already made me feel like I was at home. Mm. So it was just kind of like, it was just kind of the feeling I got when I was there and, you know, they're great people, the coaching staff, like love them to death. Um, Coach Petromalo has been texting me all throughout the playoffs. Like you guys got this. And, you know, there's another, actually one of our defensive, our defensive guys is going to Syracuse too. who has been texting us both and, you know, just, just him keeping up with stuff, like just makes it that much better. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's very nice when you know that there's an extra level of care that, that you're not even on campus. What, what was the initial level of interest from shown by Syracuse right at that September 1st? Did they like toss you an offer or was there some back and forth for a while? How, when, when did, you know, it come to fruition that you were getting an offer from Syracuse? Um, so they were actually the first school to call me on September 1st. And um, it was Gary Gay. He, he's like, uh, yeah, we've been watching you a little bit in the summer. We really like you. He's like, um, you just want to, we just want to know that like we have a lot of interest in you and then um so I, I talked to him and I got a few more phone calls after that and then it was uh coach March the offensive coordinator mm-hmm. and he called and we we kind of talked more logistics like setting up a visit mm-hmm. and like what's more Syracuse was all about and I knew right away right there I was like all right we we have to go visit Syracuse like that's the priority mm-hmm. number one go visit Syracuse go check it out and then um it was just kind of, you know, I went to go to the Toro campus and then we we had a meeting with the coaching staff and that's kind of where we talked about logistics, like offers and, you know, scholarships mm-hmm. and what, what I want to major in and all that. And I just, you know, I just felt like I was at home already. Yeah. What was the moment like telling your family that you were certain of your decision that Syracuse was the place for you? It's actually a funny story. So, um, I was sitting in class. I was in a, I was in a history class at school Mm -hmm. and I'm chilling, I'm chilling on my computer and I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, I can't, I like, I can't, like, I'm not paying attention. Like I need to get this off my chest. So I texted our family group chat and I'm, and I just texted a bunch of oranges and my mom, (laughs) and my mom goes, what what are you talking about? And I'm like, we're going to Syracuse. (laughs) She tries FaceTiming me. I'm like, wait, I'm in class. I'm in class. (laughs) And, uh, yeah, I just kind of, you know, I had a lot to think about just like, you know, being, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough decision being young and like, you know, my next, like my next four years, I'm going to be at Syracuse. Like, is that really where I want to go? Like, is that the route I want to go? What am I like, you know, it was just a lot to think about. And I think I just need to take a second and, you know, really view, view my options. And I, I didn't like, I was like, you can't go wrong with Syracuse. Yeah. No. It was a, a moment of inspiration in class. You were just, yeah sitting there just I've, I've been there before man just spaced out you're thinking about the grand scheme of life instead of what's on the board and yeah 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 wow and then uh yeah then we end up I end up having a so I went to my coach's office uh later that day and I was like I'm ready to make decision like so I had my mom my mom and dad my mom dad and sister on one phone and I had the coaching staff at Syracuse on one phone and I'm facetiming them like this I'm like showing each other and I'm like I'm ready to go to Syracuse. <laughs> what was the reaction from uh, the staff at Syracuse? Oh, they they were excited. Um, you know, they're like, we can't wait to have you, and you know, they were just they were just pumped to have uh have me join their class. Yeah, I I imagine Syracuse of the really high level lacrosse teams is probably you know maybe Dartmouth because they're in New Hampshire, but I imagine Syracuse also is a place where you'd be closer to home too. You wouldn't, if you went to like a Duke or a UNC, you'd be very, very far. Yeah. That's what, like when I was looking, when I was checking out prep schools, um, 
that's what my mom said. She's like, I want you somewhere where like we can drive up for the weekend. Um, we don't have to fly there, and like you know, if something happens, like where we can be there right away. Mm. And she didn't. She didn't tell me the same thing for college. Like she was like, it's all up to you. But I was like, you know what? Like it'd be nice to go home once in a while. You know, not too far where like I could take off for a couple of days or whatever. And then there's actually, um, there's actually a reserve on a dog nation who's five minutes away from Syracuse, and that's where mm-hmm. my uncle lives. One of my oh, uncle. no kidding. Yeah, he's, he's moving up there, so I'm going to have a little bit of family out there. And my roommate that I was staying with in Orangeville is from there, so it's just, you know, small little world. And, you know, even if I'm, even if I'm far away from home, you know, there's still a little home there. 